Hey, this is Blake from the Gig Harbor Fly Shop, and we love to fish for salmon in Puget Sound, and we also do trips for salmon up to like Tofino, Vancouver Island, stuff like that. And we've developed a bunch of different flies around fishing for them. And one of the flies we've put out recently on uh, on YouTube videos have been tying up different colors of our bucktail fly. And uh, someone was someone was asking me uh, how to tie the turn that bucktail fly into a clouser because we fish a lot of clousers too, especially with the cast fly. So. Um, so uh, here's, there's the, uh, the Clouser uh, style of the Tofino Special. And uh, in this video, we're gonna go over how to tie this in a Clouser style. So I'm using 732nd Realize Plus on here. I did not put the stinger hook on here that we have in our, uh, in our bucktail video, but you can, if you wanted to. You can put a strung out hook and then chop that, uh, chop that front hook if you want. Um, the material order gets tied in the same as in the bucktail. Uh, but you just have to rotate the hook at one particular point and so we'll go through that in the step by step thanks okay so to turn the bucktail into a clouser uh, we're gonna have to essentially tie this fly upside down and uh, instead of tying in that stinger line um, i'm just not gonna i'm not gonna tie this one with a stinger but if you want to tie it with a stinger with the 30 pound fire uh, fire line Absolutely, go for it. Sometimes I do that and cut the hook. Sometimes uh, I leave it. Um, but I'm going to take 732nd realize, and um, these are these might be a little bit heavy for some anglers to cast. But I really like if I'm going to fish a clouser, I really want it to have um, a good jigging action, and so uh, I usually err on the side of having heavier eyes on, on the hook. Okay, got those guys. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of UV flow so it soaks in, kind of helps lock stuff in place. So like the bucktail, I'm gonna start uh, with the same, the same step here, tying in the material, I'm gonna tie in the white, and this is gonna go on the top of the hook, just like on the bucktail does. And then I'm gonna tie in this uh, UV minnow belly. Okay, so this is a UV minnow belly. So then at this point, I'm going to have to turn the fly over and then my material is going to get tied uh, in front of that hook. And so I'm going to start with tying in some of this orange. Now you might have different colors if you bought one of our material kits, um, you know, maybe of the herring or uh, the orange, but everything at this point is going to be in the order that the um, that bucktail would normally get tied in okay chroma flash or helix flash and then i'm going to tie in this ice wing Salmon berry. I'll tie it with the clousers. I tie them a little bit more sparse than the bucktail. 
the bucktail uh, I don't really want it to sink too much like it doesn't need to I'm anticipating those fish coming up for it but um, but the clouser I'm casting it I'm pausing I'm leaving it sink um, this is the electric ripple ice fiber Hit it with that UV flow. Okay, and then I'm just going to clean it up a little bit and look for where the material just really isn't, uh, if it's too long, or just kind of out of control. Sometimes, sometimes these synthetics get a little bit out of. Out of control and I never chop it just straight uh, if the material is too I want to have like a taper to the fly so if there's too much um, if it's too abrupt and there's not much of a taper sometimes I'll come through and at an angle and just chop chop away into the fly to kind of help give it a give it a little bit of a taper but there's how you tie a clouser for salmon we got a lot more videos coming out, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. We have, uh, in the description below, we have materials listed out for you there with links um, to, our, to our shop. And uh, hope you uh, hook into some nice salmon fishing, some bucktails and clousers this next season.